Rockstars, Lid Shaw here with Recording Studio Rockstars. I am here at AES New York 2017 with Christopher Sparr of DPA Microphones. Really excited to be here. Thanks, Christopher, we were having a great chat before this. Um, you guys have a ton of cool microphones, like yeah. a ton of, of mics. But I know you got some new stuff that you're showing off here that I thought maybe we could talk about since yeah. we can't talk about everything. Yeah, not enough time for all the stuff that we do, I'm sure. So, Well, so uh, um, you were showing me this new thing called the device, yes. which is pretty hip. And Rockstars, we're actually using it. We set it up for this interview. Right now, we have, uh, let's see, I guess it's handheld there, but it's, yep, it's, it's this right is the here. device right here. So it's a little two-channel mobile interface. I'll try to get my fingers away there. Um, and uh, right now, the one we're using for this recording has two of our lobs connected. I have a lavalier here, and it's got one of our, two of our directional lavaliers. Um, and it goes right into the iPhone, and there's a, a setup app that we make for it that just sets gain, uh, some high-pass filtering, some gain settings. Uh, but basically, the idea is just to set the thing up, um, you minimize it and use whatever recording app you want to use, whether it's a video app, whether it's audio recording. I mean, maybe it works with GarageBand. It works with any every yeah. app I've tried it on the phone so far. It's worked. Facebook Live, the whole deal. It's right now, we're using it on the video camera app in yep. my iPhone. Yep. So we have these two lavaliers. They're on these long, really well-built cables. I got to say, actually, it's kind of cool. Here's a little detail I really appreciate. Look at that. They screw together <laughs> with these gorgeous little uh, golden-looking. Screw on. We call so, those micro dots. Yeah, it's, I yeah. think it's a feature of what I've noticed with DPA microphones is you guys are really particular about the build. Yeah. Like you try and build stuff that is really well uh, well crafted, which is cool. Yeah, exactly. But both these guys go back, they go into the device, which Chris is holding. Thanks. Shout out to Chris Salim for uh, shooting the video <laughs> for us from Mixed Down Online. You rock. Uh, but anyway, they go into the device, he's holding it, it's going into the phone, yeah. and now I'll shut up and give you a chance to tell us more about it. <laughs> no, that's cool. It's, it's. I mean, for what we're doing like this in interview, it's it's perfect for this application. Um, and it's, you know, two channels, which allows us, and I have the app right here that I don't know if I showed before, um, but the app allows us to set independent gain control. For, so for dual mono, for an interview, it's great. If I'm louder and you're quieter, we can adjust the gain if we need to. Uh, but we can also do stereo recording, stereo music recording. So, so let's see, you can do things like, so this is the, right now this is on your phone, we have a second one hooked up just for demonstration, but you can come in and adjust. Right now it's locked. Oh, it's so locked, right, un, so, which is a cool feature. It. there we go. So there, you can set levels for the mics right here. Yep. You see you've got nice level. This is really important because you want to be able to know that your mic's working with these iOS devices, yeah. you know? And then once you have a cool level set, you can actually lock it into place. Yep. And now, it's not going to get bumped or messed up while you're working, while you're shooting, if you go into a different app, it's going to lock in at that level, which is what we did with the phone. So that's a cool feature. Exactly, yeah. You just don't want to override all your game settings. You yeah. You spent some time setting them up. So, uh, absolutely. And it's, this is, um, you know, the portability uh, is nice and the size is great, but we really made it to be a studio quality A to D converter and preamp. That's the whole point of it. So um, it, it's a 24-bit 96K device. Nice. Uh, and of course, that's app dependent. So if you, whatever app you're running, if you're running one that's 96, great, it's going to work up to that, not a problem. But the internal A to D converters and the preamps, um, we've made them to rival what you're finding in the studio. That it, it wasn't, we didn't want to make it mobile and good enough. We wanted to make it so that you could take this and record an orchestra or a quartet or yeah. Or a drum kit and have it sound like a real recording. That's that's the idea. Not just good enough for broadcast, but man, I made a record. Basically. So that's awesome. But I mean, like you know, a fair question is how often and what do you know about people recording into iPhones? Yeah. We were talking about some cool stuff people were doing with it earlier. Yeah, it's. it's I mean. You know, now with the iPhones and because they record video so well, it's, it, you know the video looks fantastic. The audio, of course, was always lacking. It, it's we don't really care about the audio for an iPhone necessarily, but now people are using them as a storage device and using them to shoot high-end video. You know, if you can attach two microphones on them and go record a concert with it, you know, go you're, you're taping, you're recording a fish concert or something. Um, you know, have to have the ability to do that now with quality concert or recording studio level capsules. Yeah. into your phone that just fits in your pocket and you don't have to have a whole bag on you with a with a, a an agra that's showing my age or sound devices or some kind of portable recorder and being able to do this which you're already carrying on you anyway okay so now you, know? you and i are using lav mics for our interview but you have a totally different mic plugged into your iphone right now exactly tell us, tell yeah us about this one. so this i mean the um device except we have micro dot connectors on the device so it accepts two of any of our microphones that terminate a micro dot 
which is almost every single microphone that we make. Um, and in this case, what I did is I have a 4006 capsule. This is our kind of our revered orchestral recording capsule from the old B&K days when we were B&K. It's the, the 4006. Um, this is what, if you buy a classical CD, there's, these are probably all over that Yeah, CD. this was the microphone for measurement recordings, yes. basically getting a really high fidelity, pure, flat recording. Right? Exactly, yeah, absolutely. So the ability to have two of these things plugged into your device, I have one right now, but two of them, they're 48 volt capsules, so this is actually doing the voltage conversion, it's getting the power from your phone, can, powering two different 48 volt phantom powered capsules, you put these on a stereo bar, or a couple of stands or whatever, and you have a mobile recording studio that's that's made, to, you can make a record with it. That's, so that's awesome. So like, um, you could do things like, you could actually set this up out in the room and record with these mics into this as an additional mic and import those tracks into your session if you wanted Absolutely. to. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, you totally. Could, you could go to a live show and set them up on a bar yep. and record a live show and have like a high fidelity recording yep. of it. Yeah, That's you're in really your kitchen, cool. you're playing the guitar, you got a great idea, I want to throw it down and, re and remember it, but oh, maybe I should throw it down and remember it and hopefully be able to import it into my session. Yeah. You want it to sound good. If you have this thing and your and your iPhone, the device in your iPhone and one of our microphones, you again, you just you can kind of make a track that gets imported into your record. Okay, now let's say you record your idea of vocals, guitar, something like that in the kitchen. You use your iPhone, now you're back in the studio, yeah. um, or you're on your laptop later and you're trying to get a little bit more in depth with it. Does this interface with the laptop as well? Yes, it does. Computer? Yeah, and actually we ship a, a lightning cable with it like I have right here. This is a little short version. But we also ship a um, USB cable with it as well. So it's yeah, only cool. iOS products. It's Apple, uh, iPad, iPhone, um, iPod, but any laptop, so PC or Mac laptops. It just won't work on any kind of an Android device. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I noticed something else too. You have the monitor button. Is that so that you can, if you're recording on your iPhone, can you actually listen in on a good pair of headphones? Yes, exactly. And yep. hear how your recording's going? You got it, absolutely. And then, you, of course, cool. you have to use, using the headphone out on your phone, there is no headphone out on this. There's no buttons or switches or lights. You can't actually turn it off or on, and right. you can't monitor either. It has to be from your phone. I kind of like that. I That's, like that it's just doing one thing well, which is recording. We wanted know? to make it also a little dummy proof. So if you have to put it on talent for some reason and drop it in their pocket and hit record, they're not actually getting, accidentally going to turn it off if they reach in their pocket or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. That would be really useful too for um, just location recording film. If yeah. you want to just put lives like on different actors. Yep and give them each an iPhone, plug exactly. it in their pocket, yes. you can capture all the voices. Sound effects recording for film, yeah. you know, going out and recording animal sounds or just car noises or whatever. I mean, being able to now have this in your pocket with a mic in your hand and just kind of walk it around. And again, studio quality recordings when you get back home, that's the, that's the whole point. Nice. Did you say animal sounds? Animal sounds. What kind of animal sounds are we going to go Monkeys, wait, here's Grunt, like- Grunting this like a, things? This looks like it could be like a, a drum stool for a monkey, so maybe we it should go record be. some It could be. That's some actually sounds. used a lot to record animal sounds, actually. That's our that's our 5.1 surround mic called the 5100. Really? That's a microphone that's inside a that five, thing? Yeah, there's, there's, no there's, way. there's five microphones inside of this. Holy it's actually smokes. the same capsules that we're using on our lavaliers right now. Um, they're baffled off and everything to give it um, to give them directionality and to wow. give them phase coherency. That's cool looking. But it's a it's a uh, 5.1 surround wow. mic, just a multi pin cable out. There's no processing needed. It's six discrete channels. You just plug it in and go. If any if you saw the Revenant that Leonardo DiCaprio movie and all oh, the yeah. outdoor stuff in the yeah. snow, it was just a bunch of these outside recording all that outdoor no ambient sound. Yeah, it's really that cool. That was a great movie. Too. Yeah, very cool. So it looked a little chilly. I wouldn't want to do it, yeah, yeah. I'm a warm weather guy. Cool, so. man, well this is awesome. Thank you so much no for problem. showing us all this stuff. Thank this you. Is anything else you want to show before we're done? Uh, I would say just the, the one thing to, to add, this, this 4006 capsule, it's part of what we call our Dedicate series. And, um, you know, it's all modular, and the, the way I attached it to the device, I just screwed it onto one of our preamps. But, you know, if you already have this thing and you're using it in the studio, you're using it over your drum kit, you're using it on a guitar cabinet, whatever, it's probably gonna look like that. A yeah. big class A discrete mic pre, but again, you bought that, you can easily go, I wanna use this out in the field, you don't have to buy a whole nother microphone, you already own the capsule, you can just buy this little mobile preamp and screw it on here. So everything we make That's is cool. completely modular, pre, uh, capsules change, preamps change. Is this change. like a shotgun capsule? Uh, this is actually our shotgun Rachel. capsule, right here. There we go. Yeah, this is our cool. shotgun capsule with our B preamp. This is a cardioid capsule with what we call our C or compact preamp. This is an Omni. We have wide Omni, um, wide cardioid, a couple different Omni versions. There's lots of capsules. That it's, sounds it's like a lot of fun. audio Legos. It's just mix and match whatever you need. Which is well, thanks so much. No problem. Thank Great you. Great to meet you. Appreciate um, it.
let the Rockstars know how they can learn more about DPA and find you guys online? Okay, yeah, dpamicrophones.com. Uh, you can go to our Facebook page as well. We also have a YouTube page, but dpamicrophones.com has all of the information. So. Awesome. Rockstars, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in at the bottom of this video. Let us know what you would do if you had a DPA microphone to record some stuff. How would you use it to record it on your iPhone and take it into the studio and record with your laptop? We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.